Hello, this is Steve from the Fluorescent Flying Penguins. Today, I'm going to be talking about the new Brick Status Light Block. One of the features on the Brick Status Light Block is this button on the bottom left. There are three features, Off, On, and Reset. So, what On does is it turns on the Brick Light. Let me show you. As you can see, it changed over from the blinking green light that usually runs when you run a program to the orange light. Okay, so the next setting after that is called off. What off does is it allows you to turn off the lights near the buttons on the brick when you're running a program. Here, let me show you. As you can see, these lights were turned off instead of flashing green. Okay, so the next feature after that is called Reset. What Reset does is if you had a previous one which set it to a different color, it resets it back to the normal blinking green light. Let me show you. As you can see, at first it started off as orange, but then it changed back to the blinking green light. Okay, now that we're out of that section of the block, there's still two more things to go over. There's the color and the pulse. So, what the color does is it allows you to change the color at what it's displaying. So, this first one is green, the second one is orange, and the third one is red. Let me show you. So this one's green, stays green. Then the next one is orange. And then the next one is red. OK. So there's still one more feature. OK, the last feature is the pulse. What the pulse does is it allows you to make the light on the brick blink or just not blink. So on the top one, the pulse is set as true, so the color will blink. On the bottom one, the pulse is set as false, so it won't blink. Let me show you. So this is the top one, and as you can see, it blinked because the pulse was set as true. The next one is when it doesn't blink. Thank you for watching this episode of Programming with EV3. Thank you and goodbye.